Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So here we have a function f which is defined as x in bracket 1 minus x and defined on the interval close interval 1 comma 0 comma 1. We have to find its average value. So in previous two videos we have already seen how to solve problems of this type. So this is one of it. So let us start to solve this problem. First of all we write the given function which we have already done here. So let us use the formula. What is our formula? Yeah formula is uh, f of c that means average value of f is equal to 1 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx okay what is a and what is b we have interval 0 comma 1 so our a is 0 and b is 1 let us put the values 1 upon 1 minus 0 integration 0 to 1 f of x is x 1 minus x dx so this is equal to 1 minus 0, 1, 1 upon 1, 1. So no need to write this term, 0 to 1. We will simplify it. We'll uh, solve this bracket. So x minus x square dx, right? What will be its integration? Tell me. Integration of x is x square by 2. And what is integration of x square? It is x cube by 3, right? x cube by 3 with limits 0 to 1. First we put upper limit, after that we put lower limit. If I put upper limit 1, we will have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. If you put lower limit 0, 0 is to anything 0. So if you add subtract, you will have the 0. So let us skip that part. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. If you cross multiply 3 minus 2 by 6, so it is 1 by 6. So, so what we get, so therefore f of c is equal to f average is equal to 1 by 6. As well as we are interested to know the value of c. Okay, so let us simplify it further. So this is the average value we know, but we know we want uh, to know uh, the value of c where the function gets its average value. f of c, f of x is x 1 minus x. So f of c will be c 1 minus c is equal to 1 by 6. Let us simplify it. So I will take 6 here. So 6c. Uh, 1 minus c is equal to 1. So let us multiply 6c minus 6c square is equal to 1. Okay, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. Okay, so this thing we have, what will I do? I will take all terms on one side. Let us do that. So 6c square, I'm shifting on that side, minus 6c plus 1 is equal to 0, right? Okay, so this is a quadratic equation, you know well, when we have quadratic equation like this, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Its solution we find using this formula, minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So if you compare, what is your a? a is 6. What is your b? b is minus 6 and c is 1. So therefore, c is equal to, by that solution, minus b, that means minus minus plus 6, plus minus square root of b square square will be uh, 36 minus 4 4 into a what is our a 6 into c what is your c 1 divided by 2a that means 12 right so this is equal to what we get 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus 24 divided by 12 so this is equal to 6 plus minus square root of you will have 12 divided by 12 so yeah this is equal to 6 plus minus 12 that means 4 into 3 2 will come outside so this is 2 root 3 divided by 12 so therefore c is equal to if you divide separately we will have c is equal to 1 by 2 plus minus root 3 by 6 okay if you divide separately so these are two required value of c we get so if both values lies in this interval, then we will declare yes for this both values, we get average value of f. Otherwise, if there is only one particular point which lies in this interval, that will be the required value of c. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.